There's people back there. Excuse them. Hello. It has been six or seven months since I did my last monthly recap video. Anyway, September is over, so I decided to bring it on back and track my progress because a lot of things have changed and things are going great now and I... <laughs> yep. And you know, the best way to make amends for things you say you're gonna do but then don't do is to just continue with those things and pretend like nothing ever happened and nothing was wrong. Obviously. I have my little bullet- oh god. It's falling apart. I got my little bullet journal and I used it all of this month so I actually know what's going on. Alright, week one. I had my first work week of the fall season. We started up a new project in Escalante, Utah. We are working with the Escalante River Watershed Partnership. Or ERWIP. So I go out on hitch with the UCC. We go in and we remove invasive species. This one specifically is the Russian olive tree. It messes up the whole ecosystem. So we're doing that for a week, camping out, and then working 10 hour days. So that first hitch happened, got a whole new crew, got a new co-lead, and it's been great. Everybody's getting along really well and everybody's really fun to hang out with. Also our project partner is super cool. And on that first week, in the middle of the hitch, he just came up to us and was like, hey, do you guys wanna go swimming? We're like, sure. I guess. So he took us to this little local swimming hole in Escalante. We all just went cliff jumping and swimming under this little waterfall. One of the coolest hitches I've ever been on. So the first week of September was that hitch. So the second week of September, I had all my days off. So there was an art contest I was trying to enter at the time. It was about comics. You had to do so many. And then the deadline came up and I didn't have enough. And, and there was no healthy way for me to finish this contest. So I ended up just not doing it and I worked on photography and YouTube stuff instead. A monumental thing I did was I cleaned my truck. I vacuum and everything. Which probably hasn't happened since I lived in Ohio. So it felt super satisfying to get that clean and organized. Yeah. And to celebrate I went up into the woods to see some fall colors and I also did a little truck tour video which I was very happy and excited about. And I, I, I really like it. And I actually got a new camera lens that week, which I used for that video too. And I'm very excited. I've been so stoked on photography and videography right now because all the shots I'm getting are just like, yeah. so jazzed about them. And then on the third week, I had Hitch again. You know, pretty standard work week. Chainsaw trees, herbicide trees, hatchet trees. The huge. Our project partner took us on another hike. We went into a little slot canyon area and that was super cool. Oh, I got some really cool photos for that too. The town of Escalante had their art festival. They were holding a film festival. So our crew went into town and watched some of these environmental films and that was super cool. And that brings us to this last week of September. Ha! I was so busy. There was so much creative stuff I was doing and it was awesome and stressful and uh, I'm a little fried. I watched one season of Riverdale, saw Jughead Jones and was like, that's that's what I'm gonna dress like now. I got a photo assignment with the Utah Conservation Corps and that was super exciting. So I'm actually doing legit photography work. Basically on my off hitches, I will go out into the field, meet up with crews who are out there doing their thing, and I'll photograph them working. There is a bee right on the lens. <laughs> go, you don't belong here. I'll go out into the field, meet up with crews who are working, and I'll document what they're doing. Okay, we're moving because I got impatient with the clouds. Anyway, I spent my first day with the Front Country crew, took photos of them. Photos turned out really good. I got some of my favorites when they were doing saw maintenance. That night, I drove over to the trailhead of the Backcountry crew, and I slept at the trailhead, woke up early in the morning, hiked out, and met the Backcountry crew. I made two major mistakes when I was gonna go graph the Backcountry crew. <laughs> the first one, I hike an hour out there. I hear the chainsaws, I beat the crew. I'm on the trail and the sun's coming through the trees. It looks very nice, very pretty. So I decided to take a photo of it, pull out my camera, turn it on. Turns out there's no memory card in it. I don't have a spare memory card in my bag. So I had to walk an hour back. And this is where my second mistake comes in. I didn't entirely know my location. I didn't double check where my turn off to the cars was gonna be. And I ended up wasting 30 minutes trying to find my car. But after that, I hiked back in and everything went pretty smoothly. It was really fun. Got some pretty sick photos of those guys working. Hung out with those guys until lunch, hiked my way out. Then I went into town and edited some photos. I took 500 photos and I narrowed them down to 50. 
Woke up the next morning and went to a coffee shop to edit. Also, if you're ever in Utah, go to the Kiva Coffee House. It is the best coffee shop I have ever been to. Honestly, the best latte I have ever had. Also, really great atmosphere and just super nice people. Huh. I love it. 10 out of 10. I want to live there. So I spent a few hours editing there, got through most of it. And then, and again, the Escalani Art Festival was going on. So I went into town, checked out the booths there. I have not been around too many painting art things since high school. So it was really refreshing to kind of get back into it. After that, I drove back here, finished up editing the photos, then I emailed out the final product. So I'm super happy to have that first project done. It went really smoothly and I really like the photos that turned out. And I'm really excited to do some more. Since I was using my handy dandy bullet journal and I was planning things out and had tangible goals, literally, I, on the first page I wrote, goals. I had a lot. I don't know if I 100% filled them, but I did better than I have previously. My co-lead at work is vegan and we take turns cooking dinner for each other while we're camping, so we have to cook vegan meals. And for the heck of it, I decided, hey, I'm gonna try the vegan thing for September. I did 23 out of 30 days of vegan. I noticed that I started off strong and then my willpower dwindled. And along with the food thing, another goal is actually to not eat added sugar. That didn't work out. Mm -mm. I think what happened with me was I had this thing in my head where it's like, I can't and shouldn't eat this. And then there's like that part of your brain that's like, oh. I'm a rebel, so I am, and I was like, oh, stick it to the man, I'm gonna eat this entire chocolate bar in one sitting. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I did. <laughs> one of my goals was to have a exercise routine, and then a morning routine, and a night routine. <laughs> There's your answer. My next goal I had was active self-care and positivity. I was more positive this month than I have been in past months. I think that's more with fall coming out because that always makes me excited. And also doing more photography and more creative stuff and taking a more active role in that side of my life because that's been a thing I've always wanted to do and get more serious about and more active with. And now that I am editing photos more and take, going on photo assignments and, and making YouTube videos that I want to do more and, and making slow but deliberate progress in those goals, that's made me really happy. That actually goes along with the last goal that I had, which was to work on my photography and my YouTube stuff. So throughout the month, I've just been slowly chipping away at that. Whenever I have free time, I'm trying to do something in regards to that. Whether that's editing, um, creating new content, or publishing. I'm good at making new content. I just need to work on my editing and my publishing. <laughs> Places of improvement for this month. First things first, really want to get on my YouTube game. I have been slacking and I need to make it a priority. So I'm gonna pick it up in October. In October, I am posting four videos, generally once a week. Hit that bell and subscribe to see them. And if, and keep track of me, if I don't do it, yell at me. Yell at me. The other thing I wanna work on is when I'm off hitch, I wanna do some physical activity. There's been a lot of times where I just edit things and I sit down the entire day and it sucks. It hurts, it's physically painful. Goals for October. First one is, um, first one again, publish more. YouTube, social media, just put up photography and videos more and yeah, yeah, get that out there. Get it going, get it flowing. I'm excited for that. The other thing I'm super jazzed about is doing more photo assignments for the UCC. And lastly, I've been thinking about writing more and I wanna write one poem. Yep. So yeah, that was my September. Happy fall, everybody. Thank you for watching. Get outside, guys. Go see those fall colors. Go do, drink go drink pumpkins and chug maple syrup. Enjoy that fall. For sure. Bye-bye. There's people coming and I'm very scared. I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> Thank you for watching.